Yo, what's going on guys? Flames in here and today I'll be bringing you guys a brand new video. Today I'll be doing a price analysis and price prediction on the graph or GRT. Before we get into it, if you could leave a like, subscribe and turn on those notifications so you don't miss out. Also, if you'd like to join my Telegram and the link in the description, just general crypto discussions here and there and I'll also be posting different trades that I make every day. And lastly, if you would like to make up to $100 for free in Bitcoin, just join the BlockFi link in the description as well. Now just sit back and enjoy. Okay, so we're starting off here on CoinMarketCap and we have a $60,300 Bitcoin and we have a $4,230 Ethereum. If we move on over here to TradingView and take a quick look at BTC here, and we're looking at it on the daily currently. So our daily close yesterday did actually just about manage to close above that $60,000 mark. I am glad to see that. We did come down here, test this 50 day moving average and I did tweet that we could come down here Test these levels in and around $58,600, $700. I tweeted that yesterday and we actually did tap into it there. Then obviously get a nice bounce up and close below 60K. Obviously today we have actually come back down here and tested this horizontal support that I have drawn up here at around that $58,480 mark. But since then we have obviously got a beautiful bounce. Even if we drop back here to the one hour, I was tweeting about this parallel down channel that I've drawn up here, hoping that we could get an hourly close above this equilibrium here and we actually did manage to we're also above this 20 moving average now as well which is the middle of the bollinger bands there so hopefully we can come down retest that in and around that sort of 60k mark hold that as support which is also fairly confluent with that 8 ema as well and then if we do manage to hold that making a higher low there on low time frames Hopefully we can continue moving on up and even regain this downtrend line. Now we'll move back on over here to CoinMarketCap and now we will take a look at GRT or the graph. We're sitting at rank number 44. We're at 9.25 cents right now. We're down 1.43% today. Our market cap is 4.3 billion. Our circulating supply is 4.72 billion and that is 47% of our max supply, which is 10 billion. We come down here, our all time high is $2.88, yet yeah, there it is. And um, that was on February 12th, which was nine months ago. And we're currently down at 67.88% from then. If you don't actually know what this is, I've done a few videos on this. So you can have a read through this, see what this sort of actually is. You can pause the video, read through all of that if you'd like. But if you wanna do a little bit more fundamental research, you can come on up here to thegraph.com. And this will show you everything that you sort of do need to know about this. You can see what it's actually about. You can see what it's doing. You can just sort of see any sort of fundamental research that you do need to know about this project before investing in it. And if you do come over here and figure that you do want to buy yourself some, you can come back on over to CoinMarketCap and this will show you where you can pick yourself some up. So Binance is the number one volume holder there with 27.52%. Then you have Coinbase, Yobi, Qcoin, Binance.es, Gate.io, FTX, US, Bitdom. There's loads of different ones there. Just stick to the high conference ones and you'll be chilling. Now we'll move back on up here and we will move over to TradingView now. And now we will do some price analysis on this. And then I will also give you a price prediction as well. So we'll drop back to the daily here. I'm looking at this on more of a macro sort of scale here. The last time I actually made a video on this, we were sitting in and around this mark, I think. And I said, we could be coming up here and testing this downtrend line, breaking us out of this symmetrical triangle. Obviously we did actually break out here. We came back, we got a good few retests there, but then unfortunately there on the 15th, we actually managed to lose that 20 moving average, rejecting off this eight EMA that we failed to close above there pushing us back down into this symmetrical triangle. We actually did come the whole way down and test this 200 day moving average. It did seem to hold us as support. We got a nice bounce on off it there and we managed to close above the 50 moving average and this support that I have drawn up here at around 89 cents. We have actually just got a golden cross there. So hopefully if we do manage to hold this 50 moving average, we can get a nice sort of move on up towards the upside, breaking us out of this. We can maybe come back down and hold this as support and then we can continue on up. Usually a golden cross does mean a break to the upside and hopefully that break would easily be pushing us up above this sort of $1.50 mark. I would say once we do manage to break above that, flip that to support, moving on up these levels, there's not that much. There's a good bit of resistance in between this sort of $1.50 and $2.18. But once we actually manage to move on up towards this area, flip this to support, then there is not much between there and the all time high. And I would be saying that we'd be pushing above that all time high, flipping that to support and into price discovery very soon. Now, if you're currently sitting without yourself some GRT, we can drop back here to the four hour. 
And if you would like, you could run a fib even from around this bottom all the way up to our tops there. And as you can see, we are currently sitting just above this 0.618. We actually managed to close above it there on the 17th. We actually did work down below it again and hold the support, but then we bounced back up and we're testing this 8 EMA. Now we are still fighting with it. We haven't managed to push above it there today. We're currently just sort of sitting stagnant right now, but we could be coming back down here Testing this 618 if we do reject off that again and getting a nice bounce off. So you could be placing a buy order in and around this 618 or this horizontal support that I have drawn up here in and around that sort of 90 down to around 98 cents there. You could place another buy order in on this sort of 786 here as well, down at around this sort of 79 cents mark if you would like. And then lastly, you could drop the whole way down here to around this one in and around that sort of 64 cents mark and that would be fairly confident if we do come down here testing these sort of areas to be tapping the bottom of this symmetrical triangle and then we can continue on up i would say if we do come down to these levels that will definitely be the bottom and we won't be seeing much lower now if we actually move on over here to the btc pair i will show you where you can actually pick yourself up some with your sats so i'll actually just type it in here because i can't see it there grt btc and here we have it so if we move on over here and zoom in down here to the 4r if you actually did watch that previous video i had a fib run from that bottom around the 12th of october in and around that 1100 sats mark all the way up to our top here on the 26th there in and around 1900 sats mark and i told you to ladder buy orders from this 382 down to this 618 and as you can see we're currently sitting in and around this 0.5 right now we are currently fighting with that trying to hold that as support but we seem to be rejecting off this 8 ema we've also dropped below that 200 moving average here on the 4r and rejected off that a little this wick came the whole way down to this 1.618 so you would have had all your buy orders filled there so I would be saying that this 618 would be a good place to have some more buy orders on in case we do sort of reject off this 0 0.5 if we close below it, then we could move on down here and test this 618 again at around 1400 sats. I would definitely have a buy order in and around there. And then you could have another one a little lower just in case of a more bear scenario or even if just Bitcoin pumps and leaves alts behind. You could ladder your buy orders the whole way down here to around that 1300 sats mark at this 0.786 which is also confident with that horizontal support that I have drawn up there as well. So I'd be laddering your buy orders from around 1440 sats all the way down to around 1290. Now we'll move back on up here to the USDT pair now and I will actually give you a price prediction. So if we take a look at this, okay, and remove this previous stuff here, and then we will drop back to the daily now. And for this, we will be using Fib extensions as we always do, and we'll be taking it from this top all the way down to our bottom there. So if we move on up here and take a look at some of these Fib extensions, this will sort of show us where we could be heading this cycle. So this 1.618 here is sitting at around that $4.40 mark. And in my opinion, we could easily be seeing that once we flip this sort of $2.88 mark to support and get into price discovery. We could easily be pushing on up past this psychological $5 mark as well, in my opinion. And if we keep moving on up, this 2.618 at $6.80, this 3.618 at $9.33, this 4.618 at $7.80, even up towards this 5.618 and this psychological level here at around $15, I do think it is possible to see GRT push up to these levels. Now, if you think that does sound crazy, we can take our calculators out and see what sort of money it would take us to get there. So we'll take our $15 mark, divide that by our current price of 0 0.9252, and that would give us a 16.2x from our current prices to bring us to a $15 GRT. Now, if we move on over here to coin market cap and multiply this by our market cap here, so multiplied by 4,367,849,554, that would give us a $70.8 billion market cap for GRT to reach $15. Now, I know that may sound crazy to you, but if we move on over here and see where $70 billion would actually put us, it would put us in here at the number five coin here, moving Sol down to sixth. Now, as we all know, there's gonna be a lot more money flowing into this total market cap towards the end of the cycle for our blow off top. And I would honestly say that a $70 billion market cap 
could maybe even be pushed down towards this top 10, even this top 15 mark. And if you do understand the fundamentals that GRT actually does have and what it is trying to achieve, it's literally the Google of the blockchain, the first of its type. And I really do believe that it could be pushing on up towards this top 15, even the top 10 ranks towards the end of the cycle. And if you don't think that GRT can do that, I don't really know what to tell you. I personally think that a $15 graph can happen towards the end of Q1 2022. I hope that's what you wanted to hear. If you did enjoy, please leave a like, comment, subscribe, and turn on those notifications so you don't miss out. I love you all. Peace.